At the time you decided to attend MIT, there were very few people of color visible in the sciences anywhere, but including on this campus. What was it like to be a black student entering MIT at that time? Well, my classmate, uh, Dr. Jennifer Rudd, is here. Uh, she could answer this question as well as I, because people would always confuse her for me and, <laughs> and, and confuse me for her. <laughs> now, we are both short, but <laughs> I would say you could tell us apart, but <laughs> people couldn't at that point. Uh, I would say, on the, on the one hand, it was exhilarating being at MIT. You know, I wanted to be a scientist, and I loved the subject matter. But on the other, it was uh, isolating and, and rather lonely. And, you know, uh, you know, Jenny and I each had our own trajectories, but, you know, I was left out of study groups and different things like that. And, and so that part was tough, and I would say that a lot of my quote unquote social life, although I was a bit of a nerd, as you know, <laughs> uh, was off the campus. Yes. And, but good things come out of that. I'm a Delta, and yes. I, did, uh, <laughs> I did pledge a Delta, and I think I was president of the chapter for two years. And so I guess I was always interested <laughs> in these things. And so I can't say it was. Uh, easy. The, the academics were not never the problem, but it was really more the, the social and, and how one was treated. I don't spend a lot of time at this point in my life, you know, going through all the things that have happened because, you know, one has to kind of look at what got you to where we were, where one is, and, and here I am. So, so uh, Absolutely. but there are lessons that one can learn about uh, resilience and focus, and, but really more than anything else, uh, self-confidence. Absolutely.